Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to make a control selectable. And there's not really a solid definition in .NET of what a selectable control is. Basically, um, to me, a selectable control is a control that changes its state according to whether or not it has focus in a way that the user can see. Um, so they actually know that it's selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class here. I'm going to call it my control and my control is going to extend control uh, normal windows forms control okay and we're gonna change its state by overriding on paint and when the control has focus we're just gonna draw a border around it so we're gonna check the focused property and we're going to use control paint to draw a border. I like to use control paint to draw a border because it's a, a tad bit more expressive than draw a rectangle. Well, actually quite a bit more. And we're going to use red for our border color and border style solid. Okay, so we're going to have to call and validate when the control receives focus and when it loses focus. Otherwise, its state won't actually seem to change because the control itself won't paint at the appropriate times. So we're going to override on enter and call invalidate in there. Um, whoops. Okay. And another thing, the control is not going to magically receive focus when you click on it. So we're going to have to um, do something to build that. We can override on click and call this out focus to give it focus. So when we click on the control, uh, focus will give it focus, and then this override will be called or the functionality in here will be called which is this invalidate and then I'll go down to the pane here and draw the red border and we're gonna get a red border when we click on it so um, if you want to you can use on got focus I do believe the override is called and you can use that instead of on enter you can use on lost focus instead of on leave and you can use probably use on mouse click instead of on click but these things are uh, a bit different but in this case it doesn't really matter so there's also differences between this dot focus and this dot contains focus contains focus will yield true if any controls within this control have focus whereas this dot focused will not this dot focus is strictly this control only and in this case it wouldn't really matter so Let's run this, see how it works. I actually have to add one of these controls to my form. I'm going to change the back color so you can see it. Okay, so when we click on it, it receives focus and the red border is painted around it. When we click on another control, like a button, which can also receive focus, it gets its focus and gets all blue and stuff, and our control loses focus and its red border is gone. We can also change which control has focus in the form by using the tab key. So we can do that. And we can also change focus using the arrow keys. But if a text edit control is in the um, form and it receives focus, once it receives focus you can no longer navigate focus, uh, control focus using the arrow keys. You can change a control's tab stop property to false so that the control doesn't receive focus uh, through the tab key. So I can do this, only the two buttons down there will receive focus. Uh, but you'll still be able to change or uh, get the control to receive focus using the arrow keys even if the tab stop is set to false. Uh, the, if the tab stop property is visible in the property grid view on any control it's a clear indication that the control is selectable in a sense if it's made properly 
So I'm going to talk about something else here. I've been doing some experiments with a certain control flag or control style flag, whatever it's called. I was curious as to what this control style does. The selectable style. By default it's set to true. And if you set, set it to false, apparently it does nothing. According to the documentation it says if it's true the control can receive focus. But I've been doing experiments and uh, according to my experiments, the key input of the control doesn't change. It stays stays the same regardless of what's set here. And how the control receives and loses focus doesn't change at all. Even the uh, whatchamacallit property, the can focus property, is set to tr it stays true. Even if this is if the selectable flag is set to false, it's bizarre. And I did a little bit of reading, maybe five minutes, looking up what this is here, what how it changes the control. Couldn't figure anything out. If you know what this is, let me know. Um, anyways, that's it for this video. See you later.